Hello, this is John from TC Math Academy, and what I have for you here is a nice algebra problem. And what does this even mean? We have like four exclamation mark times five exclamation mark, all that divided by three exclamation mark. So what does this mean in mathematics and in algebra? Does it mean say four really loud, like four times five divided by three? No, it does not. Well, that's my attempt at a uh, joke, but to hopefully understand what this means. And if you do not understand what this means, well, I'm here to tell you that this is very easy. And uh, this is a math uh, topic that is taught uh, generally like an algebra two college algebra course, certainly like uh, courses like uh, pre-calculus. But if you haven't, uh, you know, taken that level of math, stick around because this is very easy stuff and very important stuff. But if you can figure this out, go ahead and put your answer into the comment section. I'm going to show you the correct answer in just one second. Then I'm going to fully explain uh, what this is. And it is very easy and very important. Also, if you need math help with the course you're taking, test prep or homeschooling, make sure to check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. And if this video helps you out, don't forget to like and subscribe as that definitely helps me out. Okay, so let's go take a look at the answer here. Of course, if you don't know what this means, hold on just one second, but the answer here is the following. It's 480. Now, uh, if you have a fancy calculator, uh, like a scientific or graphing calculator, you can, um, you can do this using your calculator. There's a button on your calculator. It looks like this for the most part, like, uh, like an N factorial or something like that. You also, uh, let's say if you have like a TI-84, you can go into the mode and, and figure this out with your calculator. You should be able to, uh, you should know how to do that if you're taking any of these math courses that are uh, that are kind of listed, things like Algebra 2, College Algebra, you have to know how to use your calculator. But uh, what we're talking about here is something called factorial, okay? Factorial, very, very important uh, topic, but uh, pretty easy uh, to kind of understand. So again, if you've never um, seen this before, I'm going to explain it in just one second. But if you got this right, you're like, oh, this is really easy there, Mr. YouTube Math Man. I need more of a challenge. Well, listen, let's just celebrate your success by giving you a nice little happy face and A plus A 100%. And a few stars that can tell your friends and family that indeed you know that this uh, symbol in mathematics means factorial. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into the problem. So here's the question. We have uh, the way we would uh, um, state this problem is four factorial. That's what this means. Times five factorial, all divided by three factorial. So what is factorial? Well, this is super easy. Here is factorial in a kind of informal definition. So if I have three factorial, right? For example, if we take a fact factorial of a number, what we're going to do is find the product. We're going to start with the number. Okay, so here in this case, it's three, and then we're just going to go down by one, and we're going to say three times the next lower number, which is two, times the next lower number is one. We can't go any further than this, so three times two times one is six, so three factorial is six. That is uh, what factorial is. Okay, so you just follow this pattern, and then we have to do the number crunching, and this can become very daunting when you're talking about numbers like 10 factorial. These numbers get very large, very quick. And then for definition purposes, we need to understand that zero vac uh, factorial is equal to one. Okay, it's not equal to zero. Zero factorial is equal to one. So if you understand these two things here, then you should be able to do uh, a problem like this. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into it. So here we have four factorial. So what does that mean? Well, that means four times three times two times one, right? We're just kind of walking things down by one. So that's four factorial. Here I have five, factor five factorial. That's going to be what? Five times four times three times two times one. And then, of course, three factorial is going to be three times two times one. Now, you can see here there's all sorts of opportunities to cross cancel. We have three times two times one, three times two times one. We can cross cancel like factors. So we're going to end up with four times this right here. And this right here is five factorial. So really, all this is going to be equal to uh, four times five factorial. And then, of course, we'll have to do the number crunching 
there to get the final answer. But, uh, you know, one of the things when you are working with factorial, okay, and this is really important in the topic of uh, permutations and combinations, things like that. Factorial um, is part of uh, basically um, counting theory, all right? So I'm kind of like, uh, kind of going off a little bit on a tangent, but you're saying, why am I ever going to use this? Well, when you're doing counting problems, you know, uh, you know, given like, uh, let's say, uh, 10 or you know, 10 different letters, uh, how many different word combinations can you make? Things like that. And these are just kind of off the cuff uh, prompts that I'm talking about. But this is very, very important stuff. So when you have a problem like this, what you want to do is say, okay, this is four factorial, this is five factorial, this is three factorial is we can just look at four factorial as four times three factorial, okay? And that's really the kind of the way you want to structure things. So you, you look for opportunities. This is three factorial right here, and then here I have five factorial. So let's just kind of look at it this way. You can do this in a couple of different ways, but um, four factorial is four times three times two times one. So instead of writing all that out, you can just go, oh, four times three factorial. I have three factorial down here. And so that way it just kind of saves um, room on your paper. You don't have to write all these numbers out. So, of course, if you have like 10 factorial, that's a big number, right? That's 10 times 9 times 8 times 7 times 6. And you just, you know, you don't want to write all these numbers out. You want to look for opportunities uh, in terms of, oh, you know, 4 factorial is 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. Well, let's just not write all this out. Let's just call that 3 factorial, okay? So hopefully you kind of understand what I'm talking about in here, I have three factorial, three factorial, I can cross cancel, and that leaves you with four times this, which of course is five factorial. Okay, so now uh, let's go ahead and do the number crunching. So we have five times four times three times two times one, that's 120. So four times 120 is 480. Okay, so if you are um, taking these courses, like let's say like an algebra two, college algebra, intermediate algebra, pre-calculus, uh, you obviously need to know how to do factorial problems, uh, you know, even without your calculator, but it's important that you understand how to use your calculator um, as well. Okay, especially these advanced graphing calculators, they're very, very powerful. Basically, they're just mini computers, but you got to understand uh, factorial. Okay, again, especially if you're uh, you're in these advanced math courses. But if you're like, yeah, let me just see what this is about. If you're not, let's say you're pre-algebra, algebra, algebra one, uh, you know, hey, I'm pretty sure you have um, some sense now of what factorial is. Hopefully, you found this easy. But if you need help uh, specifically with factorial, then check out any one of my courses: algebra two, college algebra, pre-calculus. Uh, my pre-calculus course, I go more in depth. And uh, obviously, it's it's more you know advanced than what I get into in Algebra Two in College Algebra. So, uh, anyways, if you need additional help, I would check out those courses. But hopefully, this video helped you out. If that's the case, don't forget to like and uh, subscribe. And with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time, and have a great day.